It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. We've been to Iceland again and picked up some TGI Fridays hash brown burgers. Hash brown cheeseburgers to be precise. Now they're air fryer endorsed, Ninja air fryer endorsed. We don't have a Ninja air fryer, we have a Salter air fryer which is just as good as far as I'm concerned. But they're, they're XL hash brown cheeseburgers. Now, I've been out to buy some bread rolls. The reason for that is I can't imagine, I suppose it's done, I suppose you can if you want to. I can't imagine holding the hash brown as the bread and eating the burger that way. Number one, you're gonna get grease all over your hands. And number two, I don't know. I just think that this would be much better with a bread roll. So I'm going to be put, putting it in a bread roll. So here we go then, let's get them out. Now, I just had a look online because I picked these up about a week or two ago now. I've forgotten how much I paid for them. They were £5.50. £5.50. Oh yeah, they, so they're individually wrapped. So They go in like this. So they go in the air fryer, uh, let's have a look, Ooh, other side. 16 minutes in the air fryer at 180 degrees and you turn the product halfway through. £5.50 for two of these, that's £2.75 each. Hundred and eighty. Oh, 16 minutes. I'll be back after I've buttered the roll and these are cooked. Okay, this air fryer is about to ding any second. Uh, we turned it, turn, there you go. Turned the burger, buttered a bread roll now I have seen some mixed reviews on this online. Some people love it, some people reckon it's rubbish. So I've hedged my bets and I've just brought out some Hellman's Chili Charger mayonnaise, just in case it's a bit rubbish. So let's have a look. Here's a look at it, hash brown. Hash brown burger. Hash brown burger. Some weird cheese that is like, you'd expect that cheese to have kind of dribbled somewhere, wouldn't you? But it's just kind of stuck together quite hard. Hash brown underneath. Bread roll. Now, you're never gonna, okay, the, the hash brown, if you were to pick that up, it's not overly greasy on your fingers. But I can't see it being the next big thing, using the hash brown as bread. Just use some bread in my eyes. So, let's get straight into this then. Cheese is very salty, but also the cheese has a really funny consistency to it. It's like, I've never chewed plastic. I've got no need to, but that's, if I ever chewed on some plastic, that's what I'd imagine it would taste like. A little bit of salt in there, 
absolutely no flavour whatsoever to the cheese. But I can see why they did it. They put this cheese in this burger. They've designed it that way as to not melt everywhere and make a mess of your air fryer. But phew, how's your body taking it, you know? It's not making a mess of your air fryer, but you're asking to, your body to process ultra processed cheese. I can see why some people love it. And I can also see why some people hate it. The beef. Let's grab some of this. The beef, well, it's, it, for a start, is very thin. I don't know why Iceland have called it XL, as in for extra large. In fact, it tastes more like pork. It tastes more like pork than beef. And the hash brown's a bit of potato. Why £5.50, Iceland? Why are you charging £5.50 for this? What I find really strange with Iceland's pricing at the moment is you can buy like a lamb and mint pie for a pound. It might, it might not be the greatest quality of lamb. There may not be much lamb there. But you're still able to buy a lamb and mint pie in Iceland for a pound of pa as part of their pound range. Bag of sliced potatoes for a pound. They realise that people are on a budget. But then at the same time, they're trying to sell you this so-called premium product from TGI Fridays for £5.50. It just doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to add up. I am going to add some of this chilli charger because it's a bit boring. I'm eating it, but I mean, I'm never going to buy these again. It's not something, it's not something that's like, like rocked my world. this weird cheese it's like it was made over Dow Corning we have a plastics factory near us that stinks in the night stinks of plastic when they built the factory they put all kind of like seals on people's chimney pots because they blow off in the night they blow off the plastic, they blow off the plant and all the, they throw a load of dust up in the air at 12 o'clock every night. So they had to make sure people, people's chimney pots would like, they had some funny sealed pots on them. You can imagine the cheese is made over in the factory there. Ah. The chilli charger sauce has added a little bit of spice, which has made things slightly interesting.
perhaps is part of a three for ten deal in Iceland that individually to buy this for five pound fifty you're gonna feel you're gonna feel really disappointed. So I'm gonna rate it. Um, <clears throat> I think we're getting to the stage now where you sit, you're starting to see it in the news, aren't you? Um, they're starting to link all of these foods with the big C. They're starting to link these ultra processed foods with the big C. And they're suggesting that the supermarkets and the people who make this product know, they know full well what they're producing and what they're selling and they understand the links yet they keep making these products i'm gonna buy it because i'm gonna review it and i want to review it. i want to see what it's like but to eat this on a daily basis i think it i don't know you know I'm not putting two, two and two together here, but uh, I wouldn't want to eat this kind of thing on a daily basis. For me, it's a five out of 10. Five out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.